Hello, my name is Martin and welcome to my channel. So the fastest autofocus method lays beyond the realms of manual focus. So we will need this option for your camera to use this technique. This technique is very popular among street photographers. It's basically having your camera focus even before photograph happen. You will need to have control of your aperture and lens with manual focus. Zone focusing, as from its name, is some zone being focused. Depth of this zone depends on the aperture you have. You have heard of portraits with shallow depth of field, right? So this is the exact opposite. This technique is very popular because in combination with automatic ISO, all you need to be concentrated about is your composition. So basics, the most important here is value of your aperture. Small, good for those bokeh portraits and high aperture is what we need today. High the number of aperture, smaller the hole, and the lower the aperture number, bigger the hole. So the field which will hold your subject in focus is pretty narrow with f2, so at any given moment you will have just this small zone in focus, while with f8 or higher your zone will be much wider. Then there is something called hyperfocal distance, it's an optical term which refers to distance where you will focus your camera in correlation with your lens, sensor size, your aperture. Don't worry, it's much simpler than you think. There are many apps and pages where a computer can count for you in which distance to focus. I use Fuji X100V. It has APS-C sensor. You will also need to know focal length of your lens. Normally it is written on front part. Then you choose aperture. And here we see that my hyperfocal near limit is 2 meters 61. And hyperfocal distance is 5.22 meters. So basically with my sensor and lens, and chosen f8 aperture, if I set my focus on 5.22 meters, I will have everything in focus from 2 meters 61 till infinity basically. Just for an example, if you are using 50 millimeter lens, we will need to focus on 16 meters mark and it's just too far. But if we use wide lens like 16 millimeter, we can focus on 1.7 meters and we still have basically everything in front of our lens in focus. One last thing. If it's quite dark outside or it's cloudy day, you will need to compensate for high aperture. So either you will open it up and lose a bit of your field in focus, or you can set up higher or even auto ISO. Well, the link for the page I showed you is in the description down below. And thank you very much for your attention. If you liked the video, hit like, subscribe. And if you have some questions, don't hesitate to ask in comments down below. And that's all. Thank you very much and have a nice day.